Joy and I have come up with a solution for whatever's happening. It's a, It seems like a psyop to me, this uh, Navy yard shooting, but if they can't protect themselves and them be in the military, we've decided that... We should hire the TSA to protect this this naval yard because then we would be checking grandma's depends and we would check little kids diapers and binkies and all the the Indians we would check them yeah <laughs> of course so. and somebody that was wearing shorts a body armor a helmet and carrying a long gun <laughs> might not have got by those TSA agents if they were protecting this Navy yard don't you think that's a good plan so let's just take the TSA out of the airport and put them in front of every military con. <laughs> you know, every one of them. You have to have the TSA for the oh, military God, to go in. Every front door. Well, I, well that's you can't true. Leave your house without, you know. Well, Kenny has to pipe in. Kenny, we're on camera. Would you like to say your spill on this? Since well, I just, I'm not going to feel safe until there's a TSA <laughs> agent standing at my door waiting to frisk <laughs> me before I leave. I mean, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll be... Uh, I'll feel so much safer if, <laughs> if, if I'm frisked before I even leave my house, and everyone is, then that way, wait a minute, no, they should just have one live in every house in America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. Who killed Kitty? <laughs> So come on, everybody, let's turn the TSA agents into heroes all of a sudden. We can take them out of the airports because they're not really doing us any good there. All they're doing is molesting everybody. But if they really want to molest people, let's send them to the military bases since they can't, don't have any security, national security there, to protect them from a guy walking in in shorts, body armor, a helmet, and carrying a long gun, let alone three or four or two or however many, many. there really are now. <laughs> Now, we're kind of making light of this because we've been watching the YouTube videos popping up. And we were just trying to find solutions, be it a false flag, which I probably think this is, because we saw where they mishapped on one of the channels where everybody was laughing and then they had to get their composure straight and then they were serious only for a minute like they were going to burst out laughing. So I would say this is a drill, but... In, but since they're playing on the media, and this has been going on since I have got up this morning, seeing this scroll down my YouTube, uh, we've got a job for TSA. They can move out of the airports now. Nothing has happened on an airplane and since 2001 or, or earlier. I hope you guys got that. So now TSA can now move their body scanners and their their pedophile little you know molesters over there to every every uh, military installation we have in the USA and abroad and make sure no one gets in to harm those people that should have been armed. I would have thought there would have been a sheepdog in the bunch that could have took somebody down. Don't we have ammunitions and weapons of mass destructions in these places? I mean, shoot, the choppers that fly over us sure do. Uh, anyway. Hey, national security. Don't we all feel safe? <laughs> Yay. Okay, I'm just going to cut this short. This was just a silly video. And, um, I'm going to get out of here. I have places to go and things to do in the white man's world. So wish me luck. It's not going to be fun. Uh, yeah, really. Um, peace, love, truth. You guys, let's think, think really hard on what's happening in that country within ours. You know, don't you guys think this is a setup? I mean, if you don't, if you think that somebody really walked in there, then we do need to just request to everyone, TSA must go there and get out of the airports. Peace.